Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. Today I'm going to show you some of the visualization updates really quickly and as high a quality as we can so you can hopefully see that the car now picks up pedestrians moving in a certain direction. So I've got Holly in front of me here and she's just going to walk straight in front of the car for us and let's see what it picks up. There you go. So it can pick her up there and it is showing her walking in the right direction sometimes. She's coming back across again. There you go, you see, so it does actually give her the direction of travel that she's moving in. You can see her legs walking and she's clearly pointing in that direction. It doesn't always pick her up perfectly. So let's see if she turns as she walks. Will it show her walking away from the car? Oh, there you go. Actually, it's showing her walking towards the car, but it has got her faced straight on. So if she walks to the car now, let's see if it shows her getting closer. That's pretty confident. Actually, that was pretty good. Okay, it came off again. And as she walks by, it does. Uh, it kind of gets it. But it, again, with all of the stones, with all of the rocks, there's a lot going on here for the car to kind of struggle and see. But it does need to obviously see a human. So yet again, it's a little bit hit and miss there. But now we have got a new update with cones. So if Holly puts down two cones here, you'll see them nice and clearly on our screen, on our visualization, and it shows her as well. And now if she kicks them over, hopefully they should show themselves on their side. Let's see if this actually works. It has, hasn't, yeah, it hasn't really worked. Let's see what happens if she puts one all the way to the back there. It's landed, and again, it's still showing it stood up. Throw the other one. Try and get it on its side. I know it's hard. And that was quite impressive. Is it gonna show them on their side? It's not showing them on the side, it's still showing them stood up there. You can see at the back, those two there stood up still. And you can also see that it is remembering where some of these cones are and not actively moving them. So she's trying to put them upside down now. Let's see if that makes any difference on the screen here. Does, oh, there we go, it showed it actually fallen over for a split second. It's still, okay, so Holly. Yeah, like that. Let's see, it's still showing one fallen over. Oh, it kind of, oh, it's so confused. It's not 100% sure at what it sees. It's getting really confused with the SUV as well. There we go, it actually showed it. Okay, there's now apparently, oh wow. Okay, it's really confused at what's in front of us. But you can see at the back there, there is definitely a cone that has fallen over. Let me move across to it. There we go, look at that cone. It has definitely fallen over. It seems to think there's an SUV in front of us, but there's definitely not. It can pick up Holly there as well, which is pretty impressive. Holly's gonna walk past with a bike here. Let's see what the car picks up now. It is in fact showing a bike and it does show her going in the correct direction. That was really quite impressive actually. Let's see what it looks like if she comes back to us with it. And if she comes at the car, will it show the difference? Now this should show a person and a bike in theory, but it showed a, a car. Now it's showing a person walking away from us. Yeah, it didn't pick up. Oh, there we go. It actually did. So it did pick up a bike for a split second. It then put it into the radar sensing mode as she came past us. But it did show a, sp a, a bike for a split second. The final two things this visualization update sees, of course, is the bins. You can see that there are bins behind us. There are bins, in fact, in front of the car, but it's not picking them up correctly or it's just not seeing them. So Holly's going to walk in front of the car now with a bin. And let's see. Yeah, look at that. It's picking the bin up. It's picking her up. And in fact, it's pretty much tracking where the bin went. Now, I wonder if because it thinks bins and cones are stationary objects, it's a little bit confused because the, the, the thing was actually moving. So that's maybe why it's tracking it and placing it in separate locations. Again, walking to us. It's actually showing her with a bin behind. That was really, really good for a split second. That looked awesome. And finally, we're gonna try and mimic some signs here. Holly is gonna hold up my iPad, which has got a stop sign on it. And look at that, that is perfect. You can see that it's actually got Holly there and it's got the stop sign behind her. So let's see, if I go forward, I'm just gonna drive forward here. Will it, will it be in the correct location? It's not quite in the correct location. It actually thinks the stones at the back of the house is where the stop sign is, but that's pretty impressive. Let's see if she moves, does the stop, yes, the stop sign moves as well. That is absolutely brilliant. As she is moving, the stop sign itself is moving around. That is so, so cool to see. Next up, I've got some traffic lights. Now this is just some colored lights in circles. It's not showing it on the screen, 
Let's see if she walks around a bit. Maybe it might pick it up if she gets a little bit closer. Yes, it is. Look at that. It is, in fact, showing traffic lights, and it's actually showing none of them the correct color. Holly, can you put your hand over the red and the yellow light by any chance? Can you cover two of them? No, I know. So covering some of the colors doesn't seem to activate the car in thinking that the one color it can see is available. If we swipe on the iPad, I've then got another traffic light that does in fact show just one light. So let's see what it thinks of this one. And also interesting about this one is it's an American style traffic light. So will it pick it up at all? It's not showing the colors. It's very clear to me that the green is on. No, it's not picking up the green. Maybe zoom in like so it's full screen is it going to pick it up at all no maybe walk to the other side of the car let's see if it moves the traffic lights i'm actually wondering if it's picking it up at all let's go all the way back let's go all the way back because i haven't seen it actually move the traffic light or do anything with the traffic light for a while no i don't think it's picking the traffic light up you know and finally, we're gonna test out some speed limit signs. So apparently in this update, it can now read speed limit signs as of the manual. But as you can see, there is definitely no speed limit signs coming up here. If we see this, it should, as we drive past it, register that this is now a 50. And now in theory, it should have a speed limit at the top saying 50, but as you can clearly see, it is definitely not showing that. There's an American 50 speed limit, and let's see again, is it going to see it at all? Is it gonna register it? We're not seeing any 50 sign pop up. There's definitely no notice of the car seeing that as a 50 sign. And that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this new video showing you the visualization updates. It's basically just moving in the direction of travel and showing the legs of the humans and stuff. And as you can also see, it is picking up cones on the side, which is cool, I guess. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.